I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen as soon as Westbrook was off the team. And here it is. Destiny arrives. So, before I go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and also comment down below. I think it was going to be between three people who's going to get the escape goat label. Either it was going to be Darvin Ham, which it could possibly could be. Uh, for some reason I said uh, D'Angelo Russell or Anthony Davis. So I'm reading this article from the New York Post. According to Colin Carter, he links Anthony Davis to Mavericks as LeBron James is not happy. So... I'm going to this article and break it down right quick. Following an NBA trade deadline that overhauled the Lakers roster, new drama has ensued in Los Angeles, of course. Westbrook, who was sent to the Utah Jazz, may not be the only one who had issues in the locker room. According to Fox Sports' Colin Collard, LeBron James has been holding Lakers teammate Anthony Davis accountable because he's not happy with him. I know one thing. I think LeBron James is the last one to be talking, but we're going to go in, so I'm going to get on him again. I talked to an NBA source who was known for a long time. He said, the Dallas Mavericks and Anthony Davis, keep your eye on it, Howard said Wednesday. Anthony Davis is pouting. LeBron James is holding him accountable. LeBron James is not happy with him. The herd host explained some of the reasons behind James' potential soundness with Davis. In Howard's show on Wednesday, he mentioned some of the reasons behind James' Sour move with AD. Prior to Wednesday's loss against, actually it was Monday's loss, against the Portland Trailblazers, James 38 has missed three games with an ankle injury. One that Carver said was worse than reported. He did not have a damn ankle injury. We all know that. But anyways, the NBA's all-time scorer reportedly feels Coach Darvin Ham is playing him too many minutes with Davis lacking dependent. Oh my goodness, this guy, man. You're playing him too many minutes. Even though Darvin Ham did say he's going to ride on LeBron no homo. But here's the thing with this, far I go in. LeBron, you wanted that scoring title so badly, more than winning. And now you got the nerve to complain about you playing too many minutes? When your sole and final goal of this season was to actually get that score in time. You didn't care about winning. Now you care about winning. And now you want to put the blame on Anthony Davis. Sure, he has been injured. But when he has played, he has played. Anyways, moving on. LeBron James is reportedly not happy with teammate Anthony Davis who moved on with the Dallas Mavericks. Who may have moved on with the Dallas Mavericks. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. So, from the gist of all of this, LeBron's not happy. Once again. But, here it is. You're not happy, right, with Anthony Davis. Sure. He, he gets injured a lot. But when he's not injured, he's box office. As... Steve, uh, Stephen A. Smith says, here's my problem with LeBron James complaining about that. You spent your duck Giannis on Thursday, last week, Thursday. I don't care what anybody else says. People keep saying, oh, but he played him earlier this season. Yeah, play him again. So you duck Giannis last week, Thursday. Tuesday, when you got that score record, oh, uh, you decided your foot was hurting, so you stayed out. You didn't play Sunday, was it? Was it Sunday or Monday when they played Portland? I forgot which day. I think it could have been Monday when they played against Portland. You ducked that game. Oh, yeah, you went to the Super Bowl on Sunday for some reason. And you keep freaking talking about that damn scoring title. Now you want urgency from everybody else? When the only thing you cared about was getting that scoring title? Man. And the funny thing about it is, Anthony Davis has been pissed off because the only thing he cared about, LeBron cared about, is that damn scoring title. 
And now when you come back off the high to score time, you want to start calling out people? And you want to call out Darvin Ham? Man, oh man. Anthony Davis, you have become the new scapegoat. Even that clutch sports black car will not help you here. Because that man will always need somebody to blame it on. He never puts the blame on him. Everybody else has to sacrifice for him. He don't sacrifice for nobody else. It's only about him. That's how it's always been. Uh, Cleveland, Miami, and now the L.A. It's always been like that. If I was Anthony Davis, shoot, I would go to Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, I would go to Dallas Mavericks. And hopefully, they can find some way to keep Get him and keep Kyrie Irving and still have Luka. Because that would be a team to watch. That's wishful thinking, but you never know. At this point in time, superstars, I wouldn't play with LeBron anymore. As long as, long as he's going to stay in the league. Either that, he just, like I've been saying, he need to go retire and sit down somewhere. Because you would not, he has never, ever, it just seems like he wanted to keep, the only way he can keep his name relevant is he's in the NBA and holding it hostage, not letting anybody else have their shot. It's ridiculous.